What's the chow chow chow? Josh Beats Games here and welcome back to another episode of the Fakemon Showcase. Now if you don't know what this series is, I have this good friend called Lace. I have this good friend called Lacey, aka Lacey Favourite on Twitter and Dark Master on YouTube. Links are in the description below. She sends me Fakemon that she has drawn or made up on PC. And they are absolutely amazing and then I show them off to you guys and you guys get to enjoy her art and leave comments about her art, art and she gets some nice feedback, constructive criticism of art, art and nice compliments of her art as well. That is what this series has been about and this is the 10th episode. Technically 11th because the podium was also a thing but like, you know, this is the 10th official canon episode and the podium special is like a, you know, spin-off. Anyway, we're going to start with Pertweet here. This is a grass flying parrot Pokemon and it's actually pretty cool. I actually kind of like how the uh, uh, its hair is uh, flicking up like it's an, uh, an antenna. I also like the fact that it's got leaves for or what looks like leaves for wings. I, I actually really like that. If this Pokemon doesn't get leafage like Rowlet, then I don't know what I don't know what the situations are. It should get leafage, and since it's also a parrot, it should get chatter. So I really like this Pokemon. Now, Chadot doesn't evolve, so I don't know if this Pokemon should evolve. That's my whole problem with this. Like parrot other the only other parrot Pokemon in the games doesn't evolve. So does this Pokemon get to evolve? I don't know. I honestly don't know. But that is her tweet glass flying type and it looks like a parrot. Then we have Victress. A water poison type Pokemon it is a horseshoe crab okay I don't really know too much about horseshoe crabs but it does look legitimately scary like most uh, poison types do I do like the tail how it come uh, uh, how it comes up and can uh, do some damage to you in a way it looks like do you, do you remember Final Fantasy 7 in in Final Fantasy VII, there was a boss that, like, uh, you had to beat before you had to keep on the you had to keep on attacking him before he put his tail up. Because if he put his tail up, he could do this massive tail laser move that literally uh, that literally one shot you uh, after every time. It looks a, like a smaller version of that. That's literally what it looks like to me. So I don't know if you'll get that reference, but like if you played a Final, if you played Final Fantasy VII like I have, and you're you're hyped for Final Fantasy VII coming to Switch and Xbox One in 2019, like I am, you'll be you know you'll know who I'm talking. You'll know about that boss. You'll remember that boss. I can't remember the name of that boss, but like that is a thing, and that's what I think this thing looks. Uh, it's like a little version of that. Because if that thing, if that gets that tail up, that is nasty. It looks nasty too, and it's got a nice bit of claws, sort of a beak. That you can sort of see why it's a water flying type, uh, water poison type. I like it. I like it. Victress, but water flying. Oh no, water poison, not water flying. Where am I get flying from? Water. Victress, the water poison horseshoe crab Pokemon. There we go. That is. Then we have a fossil Pokemon here. This is Bugtress. It is rock and bug. It is a ski scorpion Pokemon. It is resurrected from the Pinsir fossil. So possibly it could be related to Pinsir. Maybe. I don't know. It's a sea scorpion. When I first saw this, to, when, he, when she first showed this to me on Twitter, uh, because I get these... Um, I get these and I collect them. Uh, she shows them me on Twitter and I collect them and then I show you them in video. But when I first saw this, I was thinking to myself, Sea Scorpion, why is it not water type? And then I realized, you know, it does actually make sense as a rock book. You know, it could actually have evolved from a, at one time being a Sea Scorpion, but as sort of like 
come onto land or something like that. But you can see where it would have gone along, uh, swam along the water. It's got like fins at the back and it's got like little crab legs and claws and stuff like that. So you can see why it is a ski scorpion and stuff like that. So I kind of like it actually now. Well, I wasn't too sure in the beginning, but like now I'm starting to see it. But um, I just uh, didn't understand at the time. That's all it was. I just didn't understand at the time. Then we have a water grass type, a uh, Batu, Batu, Batu. Yeah, Batu. I'm going to say Batu. It is a water grass type. It is the river dolphin Pokemon. Now. One thing is, there are no such thing as river dolphins. The dolphins do not grow in river. It's not saying that that's nothing to do with Lacey. That's more to do with just nature. And secondly, also, there are no... They're literally... Ignore that. Really? Really? I'm recording here, you know. They're building something at the bottom of my street. It's really annoying to record during the day when they do this. That's why I record on weekends. Anyway, a, uh, this is the River Dolphin Pokemon. Uh, there are literally no dolphin Pokemon in Pokemon. And that annoys me. There are no dolphins in Pokemon. And there should be dolphins. I love dolphins. They're an amazing species and they should exist in Pokemon. But they don't. And it annoys me. So they should more exist. And they should... I'm definitely for any kind of dolphin Pokemon. I'm definitely for it. So I would definitely be for this water grass type. And and water and grass is a typing that you don't see that much of. Outside of loot actually wait, the only one is Ludicolo. Yeah. The only water grass type is Ludicolo. So you don't see it that often, and it's a really cool thing to see. So actually, yes. But two is really cool, and I actually really like it. More water grass type Pokemon, please, Pokemon. Now, of course, I just want to mention these are fake Emon. They're not official canon. Just want to mention that, right? Lacey doesn't work for Nintendo yet. Lacey doesn't work for Nintendo yet. She possibly could do one day. We'll, we'll see. It, you know, dream huge. That's why I say dream huge. Don't dream big, dream huge. And then we have uh, the reason why I, I've shown this Pokemon before. But there's a reason why I'm showing it again, because it makes sense to the next Pokemon I'm showing. So this is uh, the unknown Pokemon. Uh, this is an unknown Pokemon. It's sort of like a ragdoll, half ghost. Uh, it's, a, it's, a ghost it's a pure ghost type, but it's like a half body kind of Pokemon. And it doesn't have, it has an unknown Pokedex entry, it has unknown stats, an unknown Pokemon name, which is uh, a free explanation marks, and of course, also, is a ghost type. Now, the reason why I'm showing you this is the next one. This is related to the, Poke uh, to the previous Pokemon somehow. Lacey has not let me know how yet uh, these two Pokemon are related, and I would like to know... This is Shiva. It is a ghost type and it is related to the unknown ghost type Pokemon. Again, don't know how the revolution, uh, the uh, relation works, but it's related. Now, there's a Pokedex entry here, and Pokedex entries I love. I love where I love it when she makes Pokedex entries for these Pokemon because it gives me more of a backstory and it gives me more of a character. But this one in particular is a bit is a bit ah oh, tugs at the heartstrings so shiv shivara uh, shiv anyway was abandoned by its trainer cause he fought uh, because they fought the pokemon was weak later on the pokemon died right, of starvation and now lives in cemeteries Makes you feel something, doesn't it, guys? Makes it feel, makes you feel something. I mean, look at Bennett, for example. Bennett is an abandoned... Uh, according to Bennett's Pokedex description, it's an abandoned ragdoll but abandoned by its... Tr uh, abandoned by its trainer. Uh, and uh, is haunt uh, is trying to find its trainer to haunt him. So, uh, to haunt them. So, yeah. 
scary as hell and makes you feel something, tugs at your heartstrings. Scary, but also tugs at your heartstrings. You think to yourself, ah. Oh. Yeah, you know. Uh, well, not like ah, oh, as in that's cute, as in ah, oh, that's, that's a heart swinging story and it makes you want to cry a bit. That's what I felt when I read this. Anyway, first time, anyway. Then we have Mr. Mind, a fairy ground type Pokemon. Uh, pretty interesting. Uh, pretty interesting. I wonder if this is related to the other, uh, the Armadillo Pokemon boss. Uh, that she showed me, which is also fairy ground, so I think I've shown that off anyway. So this is fairy ground. It's kind of nice. It looks pretty. It looks pretty interesting. It looks like an arm. Uh, it's got a little tail at the back, which is kind of cool. It's got nice. It's got a nice shell, I guess. I mean, I think it could learn rollout. I think it could learn rollout and be kind of scary to people uh, because of that. Maybe it has things like Play Rough as well, so it could be really cool. I mean, the one thing I hope that the fairy type needs is more physical fairy type Pokemon. There are special walls in the fairy types, but there's li uh, and there's special attackers in the fairy types, Florges for example, but there's literally only one, maybe two physical fairy types. You've got Azumarill and you got Granville, and that's it. And I think there should be more than that. And there's really only one physical fairy type move, and that's Play Rough. So again, we need more than just that. So I, I approve of them. I approve of all of them. Uh, when I first... And let's move on to Fistle, which is the Water Gun Pokemon. This literally walks, uh, looks like a Water Fistle. <laughs> and I, I can, I'm kind of interested in its Water Steel type. The problem is, this works as a Fakemon, but would never actually be approved for a real Pokemon, sadly. Because the fact is, you know, Pokemon tries to appeal to children, and even water pistols are out. Uh, even water pistols would be a, a bit of a cringe worthy topic for people to. Uh, and there would be outcry in the streets if this was a Pokemon. I'm not saying that's a bad drawing, uh, uh, anything to do with what Lace, uh, Lacey. That's just saying if this was an official canon Pokemon, it would, there would be outcries. And I don't understand why I think there should be uh, like water pistols. I don't think there should be guns, but definitely water pistol Pokemon. Definitely shouldn't be gun Pokemon, but definitely water. I definitely think there should be water pistol Pokemon. So this is the water gun Pokemon, water steel. It is Fistle. I need a drink. This episode is sponsored by Robinsons. It's not. I wish it was. You know, Robinsons, you know, you make great orange squash. Would you mind sponsoring me so I can actually, you know, plug you sometime? Because I love your orange squash. You never watch my videos, so you'll never know that I said that. Anyway. This is another Pokemon that's actually kind of, this one's actually kind of creepy, like most dark types. This is Shep, Shepherdo, Shepherdude, Shepherd. Anyway, a, uh, this is a weird Pokemon. It's got, you see that leaf there? It's a, it's a, a sort of leaf-like thing. It's his mask. And that's because it only has, uh, you know, what has happened to half of its body is a bit weird. It's like Mimikyu in a way. If you ever saw what Mimikyu's true form was underneath that rag, you die. That's literally what they've said in the Pokedex. And <laughs> it's scary. And this sort of bears a same thing. This small Pokemon uses their mask to hide the other side of their face. It's a, a unlucky traveler once took a look uh, took the mask off and they died suddenly that's creepy so whatever is underneath that mask ooh, I don't know if you want to see it it's the same with Mimikyu and I don't think you'd want to see underneath that rag if you want to live so just keep, put the rag back on the Pokemon please and keep this mask on this Pokemon at all times uh, uh, on this Fakemon at all times it's bug and dark type. Meep. 
maybe it has maybe it, in some kind of uh, moves it might be able to use the mask as a weapon i don't know uh but like i feel like this pokemon could evolve into something dangerous it could evolve into something really dangerous this uh, with this mask it, like it definitely has character and i definitely like it when uh, when there's a pokedex description because it adds character then we have a normal fairy type Pokemon, a little bit like Sylveon, but the fact is this one's on two legs, not four. This is Lorien, it is normal and fairy type, and it looks really cute. It's got like a little tail at the back there, it's got hawk, it's got like pointy up ears and the horns as well. well. It's really, really cute, I like it. Definitely a really cool Pokemon. So that's Lorien, normal fairy, sort of like a rabbit in a way. Sort of reminds me a bit of Sylveon, sort of reminds me a bit of Meowstic too. Both male, uh, I think the female form actually, not the male one. And then we have a dragon type here, and this one again has a Dextra, uh, so it's a Dextra description. So this is Drogon, this is a dragon, and uh, these are small dragons. Uh, these small dragons don't like to be on the ground. They found uh, uh, they t found to float around in the sky, and uh, they are usually found sleeping on clouds. That's pretty cool. I like that. Now, if they are soft enough to actually land on top of clouds, that would be actually rather interesting, because clouds are, you know, <coughs> kind of really soft and stuff like that, and they'd fall through, really, if you, you tried that if you're human. But it's a nice little dragon-type Pokemon. I like it. It definitely will. I definitely should evolve. I don't know if it's pseudo-legendary, but, like, it's a really cool Pokemon. And uh, I've, again... For more dragon types definitely more dragon types in the pokemon world and with i feel like the episodes like this with gen 8 possibly any time around the corner awesome uh, then we have a dark type pokemon the possum pokemon a pony uh yeah a pony it is the dark type fossil uh dark type possum pokemon again possums they're a Pokemon that's not, you know, they're an animal species that doesn't really exist in the Pokemon community, uh, in the Pokemon world, and it should exist, really. Possums are pretty cool. Oh, I, I like them. Um, I've seen them at the zoo and stuff like that. I mean, I know that they do exist, some species of possums actually exist in nature in America, and they sound pretty scary, actually. So I'm not sure I want to see them. The same with raccoons, it's like... I feel like it's good that they're only in zoos here in the UK. You know, not in the wild. World. But then again, we have scary Pokemon over here too. You ever heard of a ba uh, well, scary animals over here in the UK too? You ever heard of a badger? Those things are scary. Badgers are scary. But yeah, uh, it's got like it's got like a sort of like a wig over here, like sort of like a fringe thing. Uh, Horns, they are uh, horns, and of course the little book. I feel like the little book teeth as well, and a nice, a nice little tail as well. I like this Pokemon. Definitely interesting. Potion Pokemon. It's a dark type, and it's called a Pony. Then we have another Pokemon with another Dex description, and I'm very much happy to see more Dex descriptions. This is a Psychic type Pokemon. It is called. Ep Pity side, a pity side. Hey, and it has there's a like it's got lots of tails, which is pretty cool as well. Uh, so let's see what this says about its tails. Here's Pokedex description. This Pokemon's multiple tails represent its emotions, and if it's anger, uh, the red tip tail uh, glow. Uh, if it's angry, the red tip tail will glow and its eyes will turn red. Ooh. Okay, so that so that would be anger there. And then all these other tails could uh, could adapt to its moves. And uh, I honestly think it could have a typing where 
its emotions basically show what, uh, how much that, you know, what typing it is. Like, this could be like an uh, Arceus in a way, it's a normal type, uh, it's a psychic type normally, but if it, if its emotions change, like its fire type moves get boosted when angry. It's an interest. I think that's like an interesting idea. Electric type moves get boosted when, I don't know, something happens, another something happens, and like more, the um, more emotions, like water type moves get boosted when it's sad, for example. So, the more emotions, it's a feeling Pokemon. It learns its emotions, and those emotions attack people. Maybe I'm reading too much into it, but that's just literally what I'm getting from this, and I like the idea of it. Then we have Kimishumi. It's a bug type, bug psychic type. Maybe sort of looks like a beetle in a way, with another, uh, another big tail at the back that could be quite dangerous. Kimishumi spray mind controlling mist uh, to manipulate its prey and trainer alike. Ooh, interesting. I always like it when they do something uh, where it's something to do with the trainer. And uh, if they're manipulating the trainer to do what they want and not what the trainer wants, that's pretty cool. Oh, I always like that, you know. It's a very interesting Pokemon. Definitely, definitely uh, crazy. I'm not sure I'd want to catch it myself because I don't really want to be manipulated, especially not by Pokemon, but like, I actually kind of like Kimoshumi, Bug Psychic type. Yes, very much so, very much into this. Then we have a normal flying type Pokemon. This is the uh, Deliquit. It is the as uh, the uh, quit the critical Pokemon. Yeah. Anyway, hey, it looks. I mean, it looks like a kind of smaller bird. Definitely could. Uh, definitely, you wouldn't want to catch this to fly about the place. But uh, it definitely can float on the battle screen. But you definitely can't fly on this. And. Um, I would probably say it evolves into something you could fly on uh, if you know HM moves ever came back, or the abilities to fly ever came back. I mean, maybe it should be like if you have a Pokemon that's capable of flying and capable of carrying heavy loads, that's what you fly on. Anyway, he, it's a pretty cool Pokemon. I like it. So. Then we have a cherry Pokemon. This is. Um, I'm not sure if this is being shown in the right light. It is grass and fairy type. It is. Quilati. I can't read that. It's really hard to read. It is a cherry Pokemon, though. Oh, and the desk definitely looks like it evolves. It definitely doesn't look like it would do too much damage in this current form. It's definitely cute. But it doesn't look like it would do too much in its current form and would definitely evolve into something a bit more powerful. Indicate like Burmy, for example. Yeah, that kind of thing. So this is probably one of those Pokemon you probably wouldn't put into a battle, but like you could if necessary. I probably would suggest not though. But it will evolve into something powerful, right? uh, probably. Then we have Elf UFO. A UFO. Uh, E.T. UFO, yeah. It's a steel psychic type. It is the small UFO Pokemon. And it does actually look like a UFO, and that's pretty cool. I mean, uh, definitely uh, a really cool idea. I mean, I, I think it was one of the... something like this in uh, uh, Pokemon Uranium, if I remember that series. There was definitely something like it. I, remember, I can't remember what it was off the top of my head. But that was a thing, and it's definitely a cool, uh, definitely a cool idea, and I definitely like the idea of alien Pokémon. And I don't think there's enough of them about, and how, and how they explain, you know, I mean, the Pokédex just doesn't make sense, really. So, more alien Pokémon, please. Them, hang on.
Then we have I I'm a bunny. It's an ice type rabbit and it's really cool. I think yes, this is the last one. Um uh, it looks actually kinda cool, you know. I feel like this Pokemon would evolve into something a bit more powerful. Oh, and more rabbit Pokemon. I feel like this is more of a boy type Pokemon. Uh, this is more of a uh, male only one. Sort of like the Punny in a way. The Punny's female only. This would be a male only counterpart. This is ice type. Can look probably looks like it would be pretty fast as well. And uh, possibly could evolve into something like ice fighting type. I would definitely like to see. You know, that's a really cool typing. That's a really cool typing. Pokemon, get on that. Ice fighting. I love that idea. Would you be able to, you know, skate along the ice and uh, do things like high jump kick, ice punch and stuff like that? And it definitely looks like it could use the ears as well, but like, I'm not just sure, I mean, how it could use the ears, but I do like the idea of this Pokemon. Yes, definitely like the idea of a bunny which is an ice type Pokemon. So, ladies and gentlemen, those are your 18 Pokemon for this time out. Well, for episode 10 of the Fakemon Showcase, Lacey's Fakemon Showcase, that is. Let me know if you enjoyed it down in the comment section down below. Let me know your thoughts and opinions on all the Pokemon available here in today's list and all the stories and stuff like that because there was a quite a few with Pokedex descriptions. Some just had, you know, uh, just typings and a name others had typings and stats and stuff like that but some actually had pokedex descriptions and i really like it when a pokedex description exists because it gives that pokemon a bit more character and i feel a bit more for those pokemon and then i definitely definitely like those but anyway if you enjoyed this you know what to do and until next time i am jsp games Make sure to check out Lacey, her links are in the description below, links to her Twitter, links to her uh, YouTube channel and all this other stuff, go and check her out, she is awesome and she makes all this art and if you want to see this art before you see these in an episode, that's where you go. She posts on her Twitter, she makes videos about it and she asks for constructive criticism all the time and I feel like I can't really give it because I don't really know what I would say because I'm not uh, someone who critiques art. But I really do like these Pokemon. Anyway, until next time, I'm just PH Games and I am out. Mean to Pokemon get to Laza. Everybody get Pokemon. Let's go! Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please feel free to leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. Also, follow me on Twitter at Joe's Games, where you'll find out when I upload next. Also, if you want to see some more videos, there should be some in the top right and top left hand corner of this end card. So, until next time, I'm Joe's Games, and I am out. See you again.